Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Lorraine Rose and if you're new here, please make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. It means so much. For today's video, I'm going to show you how to make this keto-friendly Earl Grey Latte drink. I love making this around two to three in between my first meal and my last meal of the day because that's typically when I get kind of a sugar craving and this really not only helps me with my sugar cravings but it also keeps me really full until dinner time. I love this drink. So the first thing you want to do is get two bags of Earl Grey tea. And then you want to boil two cups of water and then once your water is boiled you want to go ahead and pour about a half a cup of that water into a measuring cup or any cup that's going to be easy for you to pour into your blender now i don't do the full two cups i just let my two tea bags steep in a half a cup of water for 15 minutes and while that's steeping i go ahead and i grab my blender and I add my ingredients to it. So here's what you're gonna need for this mid-afternoon snack. And this can also be a meal replacement, honestly, because it keeps you full for so long. In this glass jar that I've labeled healthy choice, <laughs> I went ahead and I housed our MCT oil in here because we buy that in bulk. So you're gonna wanna add one tablespoon of MCT oil to your blender. And this is the collagen that we purchase, and I will try to find it online and link it down below for you. But I go ahead and I add one scoop of this collagen to the blender as well. And then I take our vanilla protein powder and I add one scoop of that to the blender. And I will link the protein powder that we're using right now that we really like down below for you, and it's also keto friendly. And I absolutely love cinnamon. It's so good for your skin. I notice a difference on my skin when I use it regularly. So I always like to add a teaspoon of cinnamon to this drink as well. And if you don't want that much cinnamon, you can always cut that in half and just add a half a teaspoon. And then once your tea is done steeping, you wanna go ahead and squeeze the rest of the juice out of your tea bag. You wanna boil your water again and pour that into your measuring cup to where you have two cups of liquid. Now, the reason why I do this is so that way my drink is really hot when I go to drink it because if I were to fill this entire measuring cup up with two cups of water and let it steep for 15 minutes, by the time I put it in my blender and then get it into my cup, my drink will be lukewarm. So this just ensures that you have a really hot beverage. <laughs> so I'm just pouring my boiled water that just got off the boil in my cup filling it up to two cups total and then i just pour it all in my blender and you want to start off with a low speed setting initially and then you can move up to like a medium speed setting and just blend it until it's nice and thick and creamy and that is it i love this drink it's so tasty it's so delicious and it actually has some really great health benefits as well. So let me know what you think about this video in the comment section below. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Make sure to hit that bell because I am going to be posting a lot more keto-friendly recipes for you guys in this new year. And until next time, I love you guys so much. Bye!